work, okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you can but, scoot. Oh. Or maybe not. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my fan fiction that is written by my best friend, Lemony Drew. This is chapter five, and what did happen last chapter? You don't remember? It was like, yeah, I do. You went to the hospital. I went to the hospital, and Landon was there, and he woke up, and we were talking, and then I went to the bathroom, and then I came out, and Landon was gone after I heard like a commotion go on. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? <sighs> yes. Flash forward to now. Yes, the present. The story has finally caught up to 2014. So all of this had taken place over a year ago. What happened to Landon at the hospital? Well, he was no longer living in Nashville. What? <laughs> By talking to the hospital staff and observing social media, Jessica learned that Luke Connor, Dave Days, and a few other musician types had agreed to take Landon in as a guest in their home and care for him until he recovered. After staying in California, he decided to take up residency there. He now lived in an apartment. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, what was the commotion? Was it them, like, kidnapping him? You don't know yet. Oh, <laughs> fart. Okay, continue. He now lived in an apartment that was nearly walking distance from YouTube headquarters. So, what of the ruckus coming from the room before Landon's sudden disappearance? That was a mystery that Jessica was unable to piece together at this time. So he just up and left and never contacted me? <laughs> On Friday, <laughs> November 7th, Jessica had just gotten home from her only class. Congratulations on your class. I hope be that's true, because that. that'd be great. <laughs> she was tired, but also needed to start on procrastin- I mean, uh, a paper. <laughs> <laughs> she thought Stella. about it, and then decided to get on YouTube and see if Mike Falzone had uploaded anything. It's Tuesday, and it'd be Friday. Ding, a text message. It was an unknown number, and it just said delivery. Who is this, she replied. <laughs> Within two hours, someone was at the door. She peeked through her blinds and saw that it was a woman working oh. for UPS. Oh, oh, mm. <laughs> She opened the door and was given a package. How did he know it was there? Whatever it was, it was tucked inside a manila envelope. No one else was home, so she just set the package on the kitchen table. She lay down on her bed and opened her laptop. Ding! She looked at her phone, and this time, the text said, open it. Oh. <laughs> Crap. Her eyebrows furrowed. What? Like that. Burrowed? <laughs> furrowed. Oh, furrowed. Oh. With an F. <laughs> like that? Yeah. It's where they, like, go down in the middle. Mad? Not mad, like contemplating. Look at yeah, look it up. <laughs> Where was I? Furrowed eyebrows. Furrowed eyebrows. Curiosity spelled demise for the cat, and Jessica was definitely a cat lady, so you can guess what happened next. I died. No, curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. That's why I died. And there was a package and the text said open it. What do you think happened? I die. Cause it kills it. No. It kills the cat. Continue. No, you're a cat lady, oh. not a cat. But curiosity kills cats. So what did you do to the package? I die <laughs> when I open it. Yeah, you opened it. Okay. <laughs> oh, inside was a letter. It read, once in a lifetime opportunity, all expenses paid, come join us. Us? Who's us? Then she noticed that something else had fallen out of the envelope. She picked once it up. Once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. She picked, it all since I'm yeah, I know. <gasps> she picked it up to see that it was a plane ticket boarding that very night to L.A. Oh. Of course she didn't want to go. She frantically tried calling her parents, but then received another text that read, Stay calm. We would all love to see you. He would love to see you too. Oh, crap. But you don't have to come if you don't want to. Of course, you'll never get another chance like this one. She immediately replied with, I'll leave if you tell me who you are first. The three dots appeared on the screen, and that felt like the longest that a few seconds could possibly be drawn out. One word appeared. Internet. 
That's so sketch. Yeah. I would never do this. <laughs> well, Jessica sat down and thought about it. If he meant who she thought it did, then she certainly wanted to go and find out what happened to him. Hearing it straight from him would clear everything up or perhaps make it more complicated. When was the last time that I had an adventure? Even then, they were never anything like this. So with a cloud in mind, she packed her bags and followed the will of the internet. Off to LA she went. <laughs> Throughout the entire flight, she didn't receive a single text. Well, yeah, because airplane mode. <laughs> yeah, not even from worried parents. Oh. <laughs> as soon as she walked off of her plane, however, ding, your date is at 3 o'clock. 3? Where? She thought. Date? What date? And 3 a.m.? Well, it's only 6 p.m. now. Where do I go until then? Then she realized that they probably meant for her to look in the direction of 3 o'clock. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I looked three to my right. on the clock. When she did, she was taken aback. There stood a tall, blonde, and handsome Josh Sobo. No. <laughs> yes. Dressed to the nines in a black suit and tie. He was holding a black sequin dress. I will be your escort for the evening. Put this on and we can leave. He half smiled in a sexy fashion, and though it wasn't Landon, she accepted this request happily. What the hell? Just happened! The end! <laughs> Not the end of everything, the end of this chapter. <laughs> what happened? Has my love interest changed? And is not landed anymore? You'll see. Alright, well, this has taken a weird tailspin. Exciting. Sort yeah. of. If you like this chapter, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the next chapter, which will be whenever we feel like it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye!